Hey everybody, what up? All right, so what is up with Chrome's new headers that they're including in every request that you're using when you use the Chrome web browser? Uh, they have multiple new headers here, but ultimately it's X browser validation and people are trying to figure out what is this? Uh, so this started just recently. Um, and basically, again, this is sending some sort of private data every time you make a request to a website. So as far as the validation, the X browser validation, it's a hard coded API key that's built into Chrome and it changes depending on your operating system. So whether Windows, Mac or Linux, uh, then it's the full user agent string, which tells websites what browser and operating system you're using. So the two are mashed together, run through a SHA-1 hash, um, which is a way of scrambling data, and then base64 encoded, which is a way of making it web safe. So what that ultimately means is like the header is quietly telling websites like, hey, I'm the real Chrome and I'm not being a, I'm not a fake Chrome. Uh, but that might seem harmless, but there's actually some probably some decent implications to that. And it's surprising, too, because Google's already in a lot of hot water when it comes to like Monopoly. Uh, they're already trying to spin off Chrome into its own product, uh, which I think is also at a unique time because, you know, Google search is somewhat worthless these days. The reason why we know what it is is because there's already a way of uh, reverse engineering this. And this is an open source project on GitHub that was shared the other day. Uh, and somebody's already figured out how to reverse engineer and create these headers. So that being said, why would they add this header? And you know, the most probable cause is they're trying to detect bots and or fake browsers. So the problem is, is that it's not a strong security. So it might stop the lazy bots that are out there, but like not anyone serious about replicating Chrome. Um, see, we've had the ability to fake user agent strings for a long time. Um, so adding this additional header isn't really going to stop the bots. And, um, you know, that sort of disproves maybe that that is the reason for this. So another theory, though, is because they added that copyright string, that maybe this is more of a legal reason and not a technical one. So the header includes a line X browser copyright, and then it says copyright Google uh, 2025. So that means if you try to copy or fake the header, you're actually copying copyrighted material. So Google could argue that spoofing the header violates copyright law and or um, the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. So people have pointed out it's similar to what Nintendo used to do with their games. They require a copyrighted logo so that anyone, uh, so they could sue anyone that copied it. So basically it stops third party game developers from building on their platform because then, because they would have to use the Nintendo logo, Nintendo could say that's a copyright violation and automatically basically win lawsuits. Now, one of the more nefarious things would be that it's to inform Chrome only access for some services. So that kind of goes against, uh, you know, the fact that they're in hot water over a monopoly already with Chrome being so widely used. Um, if they were to like use this to block other browsers from using things like Gmail or Google Docs or to like limit its functionality and what you could do with those products. Um, you know, that, that could end up creating problems because it gives Google tighter control over who can access their services, um, you know, especially in like a corporate setup. And if they do try to make life worse for like non-Chrome browsers, uh, like for instance, people using Firefox or Brave, um, they could end up running into a situation where they have to like, you know, deal with a lot of captures. In fact, I actually run into having to do captcha with Google uh, search all the time. I'm not sure why that is, but essentially you could see that maybe more often with other browsers that are not Chrome based. That could also frustrate users and actually push them more towards using Chrome. So we've seen this uh, for really the history of the Internet, like when Internet Explorer used to have dominance on the browser market, like it was such a crappy product, but everybody had to code for Internet Explorer. And then, you know, Firefox came along and Chrome came along and they started actually adhering to the W3C principles uh, and just specifications that were set out. And we started seeing much better browser capabilities. And it got to the point where it's like nobody wants to use Internet Explorer. So it, it really got to the point where Edge now is just a fork of Chrome, essentially. Um, so they lost that game. But here, here is the problem with if this is part of like a bigger trend, 
um, to make it so that, that Google like quietly adds features that, that only Chrome has access to, then you're going to start seeing websites that, that might adopt those features and they would only work in Chrome. So any other browser would feel like it's like broken or, or uh, just an inferior product. Basically, it gives possibly the ability to have more uh, dominance in the browser market. Leather. Now, the biggest issue is probably a privacy and tracking concern. So even if this isn't unique to each user, it still adds uh, to how websites can identify you. So for instance, uh, websites already track users through a combination, a combination of data. So they look at like screen sizes and fonts, like font sizes, like time zones, etc. cetera. Uh, this header can add just another signal that can be used to say like, hey, that's the same browser as before. Uh, so it makes it easier to track you uh, even without cookies. So Google's doing away with third-party cookies, and this could be something to step in and sort of just follow your behavior. Um, this reminds me of something back on Stack Overflow that I contributed to all the way back in 2020. Uh, but somebody was asking about custom headers back then in Chrome, and I had, I had actually spotted it just a few months before this question was posed. Uh, but they said, I see an element in the server array called uh, HDBX client data. Um, so that had been around before. And then I ended up answering. I said, it's a header with a unique identifier, which signifies your specific Chrome profile on your specific Chrome installation. Uh, Google says they use it for simple A-B testing, but it seems to be rather a rather unique identifier if all they need is a few feature flags. I said, this is really just another way that Google is tracking individuals' uh, activity, spying across a wide spectrum of their products. I ran into that because I actually was um, writing some automated uh, testing software that, that needed to pull up Chrome uh, and notice that header. So that's um, where I ended up becoming familiar with it. So I would say the, you know, to sum up the concern is that, you know, this isn't some sort of high security lock. It was reverse engineered within a matter of days and posted to GitHub. So you can now generate the same exact script with, a, with Python, like super simple. Uh, so basically, anyone writing a bot can add this header. So really, like, what is the point? Um, you know, it's likely not security-based. It's probably for positioning and control. So right now, the header is static, and it's simple, and it's easy to reverse engineer, but it could end up evolving into something more aggressive. So Google could end up, like, rotating this API key daily. That would certainly make spoofing harder. Uh, they could tie it to real Chrome installs, like, or your Google account. And then they could start blocking or limiting access if the header is missing or wrong. So I have other videos that are going to be on this subject, but ultimately, like, we shouldn't be using Chrome. I actually moved to Brave a long time ago. Um, so I still use Chrome when I have to, but um, for my personal browsing and things like that, I'm using Brave, and I would suggest probably everybody else do it. Uh, because there's another topic that Google has introduced recently that I'll make another video on. So anyway, they just seem to be getting more and more evil when that used to be their lo their motto when they first started out, like, don't be evil. Uh, and they would, like, look at Microsoft when they were saying that. And, uh, I mean, they're definitely just another Microsoft these days. All right, everybody, pre please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my website. Uh, check out my video game also that I've produced over the last couple of years. It's not out yet, but I'm um, still working on it. Eventually it'll come out. Took a long time. Uh, but that's King Crab VR video game. Also just going to be for the standard PC.